Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about setting yourself up for success. So, most of the time with Better Self, we, we spend a, a lot of time with our clients trying to get them uh, in a situation where they're least likely to get tripped up and revert back to old patterns. And um, of course that means being more intentional, being more mindful of how our day-to-day -day is going to run, setting things up ahead of time, but that goes right into the concept of setting yourself up for success. I used to work at a restaurant and I remember it was a terrible job, hated it, um, but it was a good job to have when I was younger because it taught me a lot of things and we had two major shifts. It was usually an opening shift to lunchtime and then lunchtime to dinner. And um, between those two shifts, there was a lot of itemized things that we had to do and check off. And the reason we did that, the reason we checked off everything uh, is because we were basically setting up the next shift for a successful opening or closing or evening time. And that always kind of stuck with me because it's a great concept. If you can do that with yourself, then you're going to be really successful. Because if you, if you kind of look out, you know, if you take a, a, a sort of a broad, big picture look at the way things kind of work in your week, there's probably a few things that you could set up ahead of time uh, where you're setting yourself up for success. And you're, you're less likely to get tripped up and revert to old patterns, as I said earlier. So an example of this would be just picking uh, a healthy snack that you can take to work with you because when you know you get hungry at a certain time and it's very easy to kind of just mindlessly eat as soon as you feel hungry and that's usually, uh, that could mean you go to the cafeteria or you go to the vending machine and maybe you pick something that's highly caloric um, processed carbohydrates, so it's going to make your insulin basically spike and then dip again, which is just going to mean that you're hungry again. So picking a healthy snack to set yourself up for success, where you, uh, you have this healthy snack, it's available, you don't have to worry about it, you can consume it before you get really, really hangry, and then you don't go to the cafeteria or the vending machine. So it's, it's about looking for opportunities to do that within your week, within the frame of your week. Another example would be setting your workout clothes on your dresser the night before you go work out. That's a really easy one and a common one, and one that's really, really, really powerful. Like it really works. Because if you wake up and the first thing you see are your workout uh, clothing, that's the, the trigger, that's the cue to in your environment, that's the environmental cue, which we have all around us at any given time. And they're either helping us or maybe derailing us, but that's a helpful trigger to cue you and get you in the right mindset to, oh yeah, I'm gonna work out today. Or, oh yeah, that's, I'm gonna throw my workout clothes on and head to the gym before I go to work or I'm gonna head to that group class. And this is just, you know, if you can find other areas like that throughout your day to day where you can set yourself up for success, where it can be pre-planned and taken care of for you, then it's gonna be a lot less uh, stressful and it just it's gonna reduce some of the chaos that life will inevitably bring day to day because we're all adults, we're all busy, we all have a lot of things going on. So if we can set ourselves up ahead of time, then we're doing a great job. All right, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any uh, questions about that or if you need suggestions, please feel free to reach out to us and I hope you have a wonderful night slash day and I'll talk to you soon.